Thank you for tuning in. I wanted to revisit this Bixler 3 build where I had Pixhawk installed and was going to demonstrate inverted flight. So I was at the field the other day, Pixhawk was running well. I got a few flights in with fly-by-wire A mode and then I, all of a sudden I got the yellow flashing LED, went from green to yellow and I was no longer able to arm or fly. I will be covering the process of diagnosing that in an upcoming video. I am led to believe that it was something with my compass which I had it mounted up here and you can see here we have magnets and maybe some sort of interference. Originally on the bench, Pixhawk was calibrated and ran fine but when I got everything installed, like I said, I was able to fly then started running into problems. And so what I'd like to do in this video while I have some downtime getting this figured out. My plan was to demo autonomous inverted flight with Pixhawk. And to be honest, I've never really flown this Pixlr 3 upside down. I've rolled it quickly all the way around, but flying inverted is new to me. And so in the meantime, I want to practice inverted flight with my FreeSky Tyrannus. And the way I'd like to do that is be able to toggle this switch, which we're gonna use with Pixhawk to send the Bixler into inverted flight. But right now manually, I'd like to be able to toggle that and then have my endpoints reversed when I am in an inverted mode. Before I get into this setup, let's take a quick look at our control surfaces. So you can see that's aileron right, rudder right. Send that elevator up to pitch upwards. Now what you'll notice is if I'm inverted and I roll right, or left, everything is still good. But what we have to watch out for is our rudder and our elevator. So if I rudder right, you can see that it's actually going left, which will yaw the plane to the left. And if I pitch back, you can see that elevator goes down, which would send me nose down. So what I'd like to demonstrate is how we'll invert these two channels so we can fly inverted with our normal stick movements. This SF switch, was what I was originally using to send Pixhawk into an inverted flight mode. So we'll go ahead and continue to use that stick. I'll press menu and then I'll go over to our mixer page. And what we want to do is we're concerned mostly with the elevator and the rudder. So I'm on channel two, which is my elevator. I'll just long press enter and hit insert after. Then you can see our source is elevator. We want to keep that. We want to change the weighting to the inverse of 100, so minus 100. I'll hit plus and minus together to invert that. I'll hit enter. Then we wanna go over and set our switch. So I'll hit enter again, and we want to have this reversed or inverted when I bring that switch up. So you can see that, or I guess you could call that down. You could see that it's showing SF down. So we'll accept that. The last thing that we wanna do is for the multiplexing, we want to do a replace. So that's pretty much the setup that we wanna do on channel two, our elevator. We'll go over to rudder and do the same thing. We'll go ahead and select insert after. See our, it's actually showing our aileron as the source. We wanna change that to rudder and for weight, we want to invert that again, minus 100. We'll go over here and we still want this switch to control that channel as well. When I bring it up, it will invert everything. And for multiplexing, we want to replace. Let's just go out and take a quick look. So you can see that for elevator and rudder, when I bring that switch up, it highlights that minus 100. So what we'll do is we'll go just take a quick look at our sticks monitor to make sure that everything looks okay. So you can see we're doing right, left. So if I go right, it's minus 100. Left, it's plus 100. So let me just bring that switch up. And now you can see if I go right, plus 100. And left, minus 100. Let's take a look at our elevator as well. So you can see I'm pulling back and it goes to minus 100 up plus 100 i'll bring the switch up now we're at plus 100 and minus 100. i'll demonstrate rudder right rudder left then we're going to pitch up pitch down take us nose down so everything that's normal 
Now what we'll do is we'll go ahead and invert those channels. So now if I rudder to the left, you can see that my rudder actually goes to the right. If I stick to the right, my rudder goes to the left. Now let's try this. If I pull the stick down, you can see that this will actually pitch the elevator down and that will send it up. So when we're in inverted mode, we will need to toggle into our SF position and then we should be able to fly inverted as we normally do when we're upright. That's the game plan while the Pixhawk is on the bench and I'm working to get rid of some of those compass errors, get everything remounted, I'll definitely share that. This could be a horrible idea, I will let you guys know when I get to the field and test this out, but I wanna spend a little bit more time doing inverted flying versus just rolling it because when we got Pixhawk going, I really want to be able to take control if anything goes wrong. So I hope that was useful in demonstrating how to use your switch to invert any channel that you like. If you guys have any questions or comments, please post them below. And until next time, thanks for watching.